rabbits in the media. That's a big bunny. <laughs> Chester is a big bunny. Whoo, I'm heated. Buns and welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, our weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. And welcome to an unintentional part two of last week's ranking video. So last week I ranked famous rabbits. It was all just based on my opinion, but I still have just had a couple of ideas in my head just revolving around rabbits in the media. So this week I figured I would do a reacting video. My first ever reacting video. This isn't really something I've ever done on my channel, but I thought why not try? So this week what we're going to do is we're going to react to rabbits in television and movies. So not necessarily like how we did a lot of cartoons and just famous iconic rabbits last week. This time I'm talking more about when rabbits show up in media and I have a couple of things pulled aside that we're gonna react to. Now, if you like this style of video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing a part two to this, please comment down below because I am always happy to watch some media that has a bunny in it. So the first thing I'm gonna react to is Senor Scratchy from WandaVision. WandaVision! Now I am a huge, huge Marvel fan. So I was very excited to see Holland Lop appear on screen for WandaVision when it came out two summers ago. I was able to find some and I'm just gonna like watch them and we can react and talk about them a little bit. Oh! Oh, stop that rabbit I got pull a hat out of it. Oh my gosh, you can see when she goes to pick it up. Look at him, he's like, no, don't lift me. Honestly, she does a pretty good job lifting him. I mean, the bunny's running away so she couldn't scoop his butt up right away, but the way that she is holding him later on, I feel like she holds him well, but yeah, the way that she's holding the bunny actually is really proper and everything is good. She had to kind of scrap, grab him out of thin air because he's literally like, ah, what's going on? One thing I do not like, no, it's not in this scene, but I'm just gonna react to a couple photos of it because I have seen the show, is Senor Scratchy lives in the world's smallest cage. Now, I know this is the Marvel Universe. It's a fake universe that Wanda created. Cinnabon, she's angry too. It's a fake universe that Wanda created. If you haven't watched the show, the whole thing is following the character of Wanda Maximoff and kind of this little utopia that she creates inside of her head and turns it into her outside reality. But this rabbit belongs to her neighbor, Agatha. Agatha ends up being the big bad after all, but she has this bunny named Senor Scratchy who lives in this teeny, teeny, tiny little cage. And that always makes me sad to see on screen. I like get so excited seeing rabbits on screen because I feel like we don't get to see them very often, but seeing it on such a big stage like WandaVision, it's upsetting. Now, of course, this scene, I believe, takes place in like the 1960s. So rabbit care was not understood at all. So it would make sense in the 60s for a rabbit to be living in a cage, but it's still not something that I like to see. I think also this rabbit was like meant to end up being a demon later on, but that never ends up happening in the show. But I think that's what they meant for it. So maybe they should have kept it in a cage, but if it were a real rabbit, not happening. But again, in this world, it's like the 50s, 60s, time like that. So there definitely wasn't any rabbit education. So I guess that matches the time period, but still upsetting to see. So the next thing that we are gonna react to is one of my other favorite shows, which is One Tree Hill. We totally hang out more often. <clears throat> what is your name? Haley. Yeah, I don't like that name. Let's call you Rock. Now, if you haven't watched One Tree Hill, Honestly, stop what you're doing right now and just go watch all nine seasons. One Tree Hill is amazing. It's a show from the early 2000s, all about this like basketball team, but it turns into really just being a teen drama. And then it time jumps. And once the rabbit shows up, these teenagers are now adults and one of their kids owns a rabbit named Chester. So we're gonna watch a scene with Chester the rabbit. Today for show and tell, I brought my bunny Chester. Chester's my best friend ever. My nanny Carrie used to be my best friend, but she tried to put stuff in my hair and take me away. True. Now I guess it's a tie between my Uncle Skills, my Aunt Brooke, and Chester. We stand. Jamie, same. Son and Bun is my best friend. Oh, and my grandpa Dan. He brought me home. Also, shout out to tiny little Jamie holding this 
gigantic rabbit, but still supporting his little booty. That's a big, that's a big lop. I think that's like an English lop. That's a big bunny. <laughs> Chester is a big bunny. I will say a couple things to react to. One, not shown here is Chester also lives in a cage. Unfortunate, early 2000s at that point, I think that it still wasn't a big thing, but still, and Chester lives in one of those tiny little cages that my entire <laughs> channel stands against. So it's so frustrating because I feel like it could have been so cool because Chester just kind of shows up randomly throughout the show. It could have been so cool for just like, Chester to hop into the room, you know, instead of them having to show him in this cage. As adorable as this scene is, and as precious as this is, Chester being Jamie's rabbit just continues to perpetuate the idea that rabbits are starter pets, hence why the rabbit is in the cage, he's bringing it to show and tell. Rabbits are not for small children. Yes, you can have a rabbit and have small children, but the rabbit needs to be a family responsibility, really taken care of by the parents. It should not just be the small child's pet, because rabbits need just as much care and attention as a dog or cat will. So. I definitely know that in my family, like when I was growing up, there were dogs that like, this dog is my dog, but my mom took care of the dog. It needs to be similar here. Now we don't see too much of that in the show of his mom taking care of the rabbit. The rabbit lives in his room. It really just seems to only belong to Jamie. I do not like that. I have said before that I do not think a rabbit is a good pet for small children, especially because rabbits don't love to be snuggled and held and they're very shy. And small children can bring along some loud noises and some excited hands that wanna grab the bunny. A second thing, bringing a rabbit to show and tell is just like so problematic. I mean, first of all, he's just this tiny child holding this huge rabbit. Thank God this rabbit is so well behaved. That means that this rabbit is now in a group with a ton of kids. If he falls, if he gets lose all these kids are going to be chasing it that's just not conducive for the rabbit no matter how calm Chester the rabbit is so as adorable as the scene is this is not something you should do just like how you wouldn't bring your dog or your cat for show and tell or you shouldn't it's just very overwhelming for them of course there's always an exception some rabbits are social butterflies and they're stars but I still wouldn't want to bring them to a preschool show and tell this scene and the rabbit in general honestly perpetuates the idea that rabbits are for small children they're easy you can just kind of bring them to school like a stuffy, which just is not true. Okay, so this next scene is from Succession. I do not watch Succession, but Bryant does. And he actually was like, Morgan, there was a rabbit. So we're going to watch and react to this scene. Now, the other two shows, I had a little bit more background information about the rabbits. Like I know they were kept in cages. I like knew how they were treated. This, I am going in blind and reacting to the scene. So let's go in together. Yeah, what? I'm in the middle. What do you mean? It said, I'm sorry to call you, but the rabbit is sick. What do you mean? The rabbit's sick? What, what, what kind of sick? How, did, did you call the vet? How, 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 how much bagel did you give her? I'm gonna finish the scene. Okay, you know what, just, just, she said, I don't think they're supposed to have bagels. Figure it out, okay? Just call our doctor. Yeah, if he can do people, he can do rabbits. No, you can't. <sighs> okay, my blood is my blood is boiling. So for the other two things I showed, one was based in the 60s and one actually was filmed in the early 2000s. So both I give a little bit of, you know what? There wasn't as much rapid pet education during those time periods. This came, just came out this year, like I think a month ago or something. Whew. Okay, one, the rabbit is sick. I'm assuming if the rabbit is sick, it's most likely GI stasis. I've talked a lot about GI stasis on this channel, but GI stasis is really, really serious. Because rabbits are prey animals, they do not show that they're sick until they're really sick. So if the kid was aware that their bunny is sick, that means that the rabbit is already not feeling well. And for him to one, say how much bagel did you give him? Rabbits can't eat bagels. Rabbits have such sensitive GI tracts, so sensitive. They cannot eat gluten and breads and grains like that. They cannot do that. Rabbits eat hay, they eat a tiny bit of pellets. Sometimes they eat greens, they eat herbs, they eat flowers and some veggies and fruit, small amounts, but mostly they eat hay. They cannot digest bagel properly. Of course, that's why your rabbit is sick. Your rabbit is going through GI stasis because you gave your rabbit a bagel. And then for him to be like, just call our doctor if he can treat people. Rabbits need their own specific rabbit vet. Most regular veterinarians 
only know how to treat dogs and cats. Doctors don't know how to treat animals, period. They know how to treat people. Not having a rabbit savvy vet on hand and then just telling your child to call the doctor is the worst advice, the worst thing you can do. A regular human doctor has no idea what GI stasis is because they treat humans, not rabbits. Of course they can look at it, but they are not educated to do that. And this goes back again to clearly this man bought his child a rabbit and just like did zero, zero research beforehand, just kind of threw the rabbit at her. He knows nothing about rabbits, zero education. It seems like honestly, this kid knows more about rabbits than he does. She was the one pushing back of like, they're not supposed to eat bagels. I shouldn't go to a doctor. Good for this kid. This kid probably watches our channel, so way to go. But that just is so frustrating to me. Anytime you're bringing a new family member into your home, yes, family member, not just animal. I'm talking family member because that's what they are. Everybody in the home needs to be educated on how to take care of it. They are a part of your family and it is so important that not just the child is educated on how to take care of them, but the parent, the guardian, is aware of what needs to be done and has a rabbit savvy vet on hand. And honestly, a good rabbit owner would know what GI stasis is before receiving this phone call. Oh, I'm heated. I know this is just such a small thing on television. Like it, it's not real. This is just perpetuating a stereotype that is so frustrating to me. Like Succession is one of the biggest TV shows on right now. So like this is, I think, supposed to be kind of funny, like a silly thing, but it's not. Like this is really serious. When Cinnabon is sick, that's just the worst thing in the world. So seeing this in our year, 2023, is very frustrating to me. So I think that is where I'm actually gonna end this video because I am worked up and I'm gonna need to whew, chill a little bit. Let me know what you think of me reacting to these clips. Let me know if you've seen any of these shows, what your thoughts are. I wanna hear it in the comments down below. But this was fun, a little bit of a different video for us, but the last two videos have been fun to really dive into rabbits in the media. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to give this video a big like if you like this and subscribe so you never miss our content and we will see you in our next video. Bye buns!